Alex Ramosi built a media empire on the back of short form video, and Gary Vee floods the internet with hundreds of clips a day. But what if you're just one person? No team, no time. Let me show you how you can do this without ever actually having to edit any of the videos yourself. This is something that I use all the time. I don't even know what good editing looks like. Let's start by talking about the reality of content at scale. Creating content is simple. But what about creating a lot of content that works across Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and Twitter and LinkedIn? That's where most people give up. Not because they don't have ideas, but because the actual editing work is the bottleneck. I don't know about you, but editing the captions, matching the emojis, slicing the clips, and timing the cuts? I feel like I've aged 20 years every time I open CapCut. And even if I work really, really hard, I don't even know if I'm doing a good job, so I needed to find a cheat code. This is where the magic comes in. Literally, sub magic. It adds animated captions in one click. It inserts relevant B-roll to keep people watching. It cuts silences and filler words automatically. No agencies, no editors, no ums and uhs and all of that other nonsense and huge breaks between words. Just upload, pick a style, export, done. All right, let me show you how I do this because it's actually really simple and it's a three-step process. Step number one is you upload a raw video. I usually pull a two to four minute video clip from some podcast or a Zoom session. So the first step is you're gonna either hit generate captions or use the magic editor. With the magic editor, you can literally just bring in YouTube clips. Check this out. Boom, paste the URL. Otherwise, you can use the normal generate captions and let's just show you this process for today. I'm gonna import a little clip. This is the fun part where we wait for it to process the video. Step number two is pretty simple. You're gonna choose your caption style. And there are a lot of styles to choose from. And if you look at the names, they're pretty easy to see where they're coming from. Now I've uploaded this video from a chat that Barry Hot and I had in Manhattan yesterday. Now the wonderful thing is I can pick from a whole bunch of trending styles from folks that you probably recognize. So let's go in here and pick one that I really enjoy, Hermosi 3 and we click to apply it and it'll go to everything automatically. We can also go into this section to customize all the little pieces. Now, while this is great right out of the box, you can see just how granular your control can be. What if I wanna change my main color to blue? And maybe I wanna take my second color to like a white, we can do it like that. And the third color, maybe I'll make it a black because that's sort of the disruptor school vibes. So we're hitting the branding with the text on the screen. Step number three is you let Submagic do all the work for you. It'll auto transcribe, it'll add the emojis, it'll cut the fat and even insert B-roll for you. Nine times out of 10, right out of the box, this is perfectly fine. Now, if you have any branding things, like perhaps you wanna change the color, like I did where I made the main color blue, go for it. If you wanna adjust where some of the captions are, you can hit play and then move the caption position. Maybe make the text a little bit bigger. You can trim a little bit more or add B-roll manually. And let me show you exactly what this looks like as I edit this thing as a guy that doesn't even edit videos. I don't even edit this video. So the next thing we can do is we can come in here to the trim section and remove silences or bad takes and this really just helps us clean this up. And what I love about this is how easy it is to use. So I'm, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can kind of see the whole project. And this is three and a half minutes, which is too long. So we can go in line by line and just get rid of everything that we don't want. And you can see the time on the video getting shorter and shorter. So let me show you what this looks like sped up. Boom, 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 boom. Pro tip. For me, what I've found, if something's like less than half a second long, sometimes I'm using that pause when I talk for inflection and not getting rid of it is probably the best move. And you can see in a matter of moments, we're already down to two minutes and 15 seconds, which is great. If we wanna add B-roll at the top, we go to the B-roll section. We can scrub through all of the scenes of the video and we find a spot. We can hit the add image and just search for any GIFs or any B-roll that we want to include, which is easy. One other thing before we move on that I wanna show you is, this is great at nine by 16, but if we wanna make it a wide or a square or a four by five, you can do it right here and export that way. But we're gonna do nine by 16 for this video. And then you just hit export and you're done. 
Now, one of the things that I love about this, before we move on, that I have to show you is when you're exporting stuff, this workflow is great. It feels like Frame.io. You could leave a comment for other people and even mention them if you're on your team. So if you're making videos for other people, you can have a conversation in the comment section. If people are making videos for you, you can give them feedback. And one of the things that I love is you can come in here and leave notes for yourself. I do it all the time so that I understand the choices that I've made so that I can go back and make those good choices again. And this is so useful and nobody else includes it and they have it right out of the box. So let me tell you why this system wins and scales. The best part of all of this is that it's not just easier, it also performs better. This is the exact process we've used to generate thousands of views on content where if I worked really hard for a very long time, I might get a couple hundred. So it's a simple checklist. You're repurposing long form content into viral short form content. That will consistently grow your audience, making it easier and easier for you to sell to people who are already clamoring to give you their money. And the machine learning behind all of this at Meta and at Google and at TikTok, everywhere else, they love content that earns attention. Anything that earns attention and keeps it, they're gonna push it out to more people. Most creators don't need a $10,000 a month team and an editor or an agent agency. All you need is a system that does all of the work with a few clicks so you can get more sleep. You record the AI edits and then you post. Just repeat that process over and over again. I've done this hundreds of, maybe even thousands of times now. And to be fair too, when you're pushing stuff out there, you can see what works and what doesn't. You can make better and better choices. Instead of you beating yourself up over every single edit, you can put a ton of things out there and listen to your audience and give them more of what they want. If you're running a business or managing a team or trying to grow a brand, this is the kind of cheat code you've been looking for. You'll stop falling behind and you'll actually get more and more ahead with a system and a process that gets easier and easier and gets you more and more views on less and less work. That's what we all want. This workflow is a core part of how we built Disruptor Academy. And inside the Academy, we go way deeper teaching you how to automate all of your ads and how to scale your business. And again, more success and less stress. Because running the ads only takes a couple hours a week and making the content should take even less time than that. That means that you get to enjoy life. That's what it's all about. Start publishing, start winning. The link to Submagic is down below. It's disruptorschool.com slash submagic. Check it out. Try it for free. You'll never wanna go back. And if you wanna scale your content, your ads, and your bank account, you know where to find me. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet. Bye.